Hey guys, this is Luis D and you are with Phone Arena. Last November, Microsoft released the Lumia 950 and 950XL to debut Windows 10 on smartphones. With their muscular spec sheets and high price tags, these phones left Windows 10 out of reach for budget-minded buyers. Well, six months later, Microsoft is back with an affordable Windows 10 option, the Lumia 650. With its lean hardware, slim design and affordable price tag, we wondered whether the phone is full of compromises, punches above its weight or simply delivers the essentials with nothing more to it. The answer might surprise you. The Lumia 650 is simple, understated and perhaps a bit taller than needed. It has a rectangular shape and its unassuming looks aren't ones to fall head over heels with, but they don't irritate either. The phone features a glass front, a metal frame and a removable plastic backplate. With a bit of wiggling around, removing and reattaching the back panel is easy and secure, providing access to the battery, nano SIM tray and micro SD card slot. The metal frame is sturdy and it won't torment your palms with sharp edges. The phone itself isn't feather light, but its weight is evenly distributed. It handles fairly well for a 5-incher and the power and volume keys respond tightly without wobbling or mushing it up. For its affordable Windows 10 device, Microsoft opted for a 5-inch AMOLED display with a 720p resolution that's of good quality but falls short in some aspects. Images look crisp and colors are reasonably accurate, save for the seriously skewed greenies. Thankfully, the phone lets you tune the display's color temperature and color saturation to your liking. The peak brightness output of 314 nits isn't impressive, but using the phone in bright light poses no issue. The 5 nits minimum brightness is fine for not searing your retinas during bed reading. Viewing angles are great, with no noticeable image distortions. There's also an always-on feature that shows you the current time, date and event notifications. When we first experienced Windows 10 on the Lumia 950 and Excel last November, the operating system was sluggish and inconsistent. Thankfully, Microsoft has smoothed out the rough edges over the last few months and our first moments with the Lumia 650 made for smooth sailing. Getting around the menus is straightforward and we like the choice of customization options over how certain functions and services work. If there is something you don't like about your experience, chances are you'll find a toggle to disable it somewhere in the settings menu. As a whole, Windows 10 can be confusing at times, but it's in okay shape and works fine for the basic communication and connectivity tasks that the Lumia 650 is designed to pull off. However, we wouldn't say the user experience is in any way better than what Android and iOS already offer. In terms of hardware, the Lumia 650 is powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 212 processor and comes paired with just 1GB of RAM memory, but Windows 10 is designed so that modest spec sheets don't put it at a serious performance disadvantage. Moreover, Qualcomm didn't skimp on essential features, including support for up-to-date Bluetooth, NFC and Quick Charge standards. There's also a capable modem built in the processor, supporting Category 4 LTE speeds and all global networks. Works. Storage wise, we're looking at 16GB of eMMC 4.5 flash memory in the base model. We were happy not to witness stutter, lag, or freezes during use. Windows 10 is reasonably swift in everyday usage, and that goes for the Microsoft Edge web browser as well. Pages are rendered fairly quick, and navigating, zooming, and panning them goes smoothly. App loading times aren't obnoxiously long although the camera app is a bit slow. Also, heavy 3D games are completely out of the Lumia 650's reach. The Lumia 650 comes with an 8 megapixel main camera with a single LED flash, f2.2 aperture, digital zoom and out of focus. The front camera is a 5 megapixel unit. It's a modest setup that delivers surprisingly good results but with significant caveats. See, photos turn out fine across almost all lighting conditions. Daylight photos look crisp even zoomed at pixel level, where other devices, including premium ones, tend to dramatically over sharpen images to the point of turning objects like tree crowns into a pixelated mess, the Lumia 650 actually preserves the subtle details. The automatic exposure isn't always correct, as we had many photos in which the sky looks great, but objects such as buildings appear darker than they should. Moreover, photos turn out excessively blue, which can make them cold and moody. We also observe that the camera can be a bit 
bit slow to focus, so night images may come off blur. The LED flash on the Lumia 650 isn't particularly strong, though it does the job at illuminating the scene, though some spots still appear too dark. And as for selfies, they actually turn out quite good and detailed with the 5 megapixel front cam. As for video recording, the camcorder is limited to 720p resolution video, but that's not the reason we're completely thrown off by it. The image stabilization on our unit is completely botched, making the image twitch and jerk with the slightest of hand movements. Sound quality is poor, with recordings sounding heavily filtered. Hopefully, Microsoft can fix the issues with a software update, because the smartphone is barely usable as a camcorder in this state. With its nice 5-inch display and front-facing speakers, the Lumia 950 is a fine device to entertain yourself with. With the ability to tune the screen's color temperature and saturation, you will be able to make the colors pop as much as you want them. Microsoft's music and video players are straightforward and competent enough with all the basic filters and adjustments you'd expect. Also, the Lumia 650 speaker punches loud. Although sound quality isn't remarkable, you can still get a small room dancing. As for call quality, we're pleased with the Lumia 650 for inbound calls sound quite clear. The earphone isn't the loudest around, but it should suffice for most applications. On the other end, callers didn't point out anything unusual with our voices. There's still the issue of talkers sounding a bit thin due to the noise cancellation, but it's nothing to make a ruse of. Battery life isn't of much concern either, for the Lumia 650 has a power-efficient AMOLED display and an economical processor that let it last at least a day of consistent usage. The 2000 mAh battery should prove sufficient for the majority of this phone's target user base, which certainly excludes heavy multitaskers and gamers. Final summation? The Lumia 650 provides an adequate smartphone experience and it's a solid choice for an entry-level Windows 10 handset. However, at $200 for the base model, the Lumia 650 isn't particularly enticing and Windows 10 is good but still a bit rough around the edges. Other than that, the new Lumia simply lacks unique qualities to make it stand out in the crowded smartphone market. That's it guys, for more interesting content check out phonearena.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Luis D, it was a pleasure presenting to you. Take care.